Dixie Wills als so ein paar gesehen wie Elizabeth. Das Rocket Head vielleicht hier bei Myola Millie, Hillendale und Bonnie Natale. Excuse me. Runners behind the barrier now for this, the final race here at Buchanan Park. Just a reminder, our next race meet will be Melbourne Cup Day. And then the final race meet for North West Queensland in Mount Isa is the 27th of November. <coughs> before we stop for our summer break. <coughs> Any good days racing? And this should be a good one. Looking, the favourite is the newcomer. Elasibus from the Tanya Parry stable. Rick McMahon and Jason Babarovich have scored doubles. So both of them looking for a treble today. As we start to load up from out wide, Myola Millie. And the favourite coming to the inside, Elasabras. And Bud Natale, Nairi Nelson. She was scratched, uh, Blacks was scratched when she threw Nairi early in the day, so good to see she's okay. And we've got the long striding chestnut Dixie Rouge. Who mightn't be at the front when they come into the straight, but once he gets that big stride going, he makes up plenty of ground. And they work to get him in. And then George Tipping's horse, Hillendale. It's got to be a Scotsman named that one for sure. Rockethead and then Bold Sam, Jason Babarovich. As I said, looking for a treble for the day. So they get Rockethead in. And now Bold Sam will complete the field. And we'll be ready to go with the lucky last. Elasabras, the favourite. Red lights flashing. Mr. Moore on his stand. Off and racing, they all got out very well. It's a straight line across the track as they settle down Dixie Rouge. Dixie Rouge starts to take up the running. Coming across there uh, are the uh, Elasabras, also Rockethead, Myola Millie. They're all in there making a go of it. Dixie Rouge falls back down. Now with Bon Natale in midfield is Bold Sam. And about seven lengths out the back is Hill and Dale. They go past the 800 now. And out in front it is Myola Millie and Rockethead. The two stable mates just in behind them, Bold Sam. Elasabras on his outside is Dixie Rouge. About two lengths behind them, Bon Natale. And about eight lengths out the back, Hill and Dale. It's the stable mates still in front. Myola Millie leads about a length to Rocket head at the 400. Elasabras another two lengths further back. Dixie Rouge moving up alongside him now as Bold Sam just drops back slightly. Bun Natale four lengths out the back and then out further back there is thing. Uh, Myola Millie though. Myola Millie leads the way into the straight from Rocket Head. Dixie Rouge starting to come at them but it's Myola Millie. Myola Millie in front from uh, Rocket Head. Elasabras and Dixie Rouge. Myola Millie Keith Ballard's kicked him home. My Ola Millie gets second, first. Next was Rockethead, and then it's going to be a photo for Elasabras and Dixie Rouge. Then Bon Natale, followed by Hillendale and Bold Sam at the tail. Well, it'll be a good go for third, but no doubt about the winner. It is my Ola Millie, Keith Ballard. Been around since 
Adam was a boy. And he's got another winner. Got the six-year-old chestnut mare home. My ferocity out of Mr. Karma. Only had 27 starts and that's the third win. But Keith Ballard, he's got him there. All the stable mates took it out. Rocket head for Tanya Parry has got the Quinella, but it's number three, Dixie Rouge, who's got third. Dixie Rouge has got home for third, so it'll be eight, six, three, one, four. Eight, six, three, one, four, the numbers. So Keith Bellard spoils the party. And second was a rocket head, Terence Hill. And third, number three, Dixie Rouge. Four lengths by one length, the margins. 1.1425 for your winner, Keith Ballard and Myola Millie.